Let me get this right. Your grandfather was named. Georgos Grinis. Met your Mexican grandmother Grandmother. in Palanco? No, no, Pachuca, no, here in Mexico City. Here in Mexico City. They were married. How many kids did they have? Uh, Just my mom. Just one, your mother. Now, because they did, your father, wait, your father? When my mother uh, married my father. Yes, when your mother married your father, they didn't have, they didn't want to have the Greek connection. Exactly. So they kept her away from the Greek side. Yes. So when you, you were born, you didn't really There was know. no relationship with the, the Greek, Greek side. family. So can My you... sister, that she was 15 years older, yes, she had still a, a connection with the Greenies. So you growing up really didn't have a connection with your Greek no, no, side. No. You felt very Mexican. You didn't. You didn't have. I just knew that my last name was Grinis, but I had no idea that, that there was a Greek church, a Greek community, nothing at all. So, can you tell me how you your destiny brought you back to the Hellenic roots that you had? Because the life wanted to join the the person that now is my wife with me. <laughs> <laughs> and, and also I ask her uh, uh, can you tell me a little bit about how you met her because she she, she traveled to this continent to know how Latin America t- to take a flavor of Latin America and uh, in the touristic place of the pyramids of Totibocan uh, she was there with her friend and I was also there because I used to go out on weekends and uh, so we began uh, uh, hearing a different language uh, and I asked uh, what is that language uh, so I knew that uh, she was I was hearing Greek I asked uh, her have you ever heard the last name Krinis they say no never and uh, but but uh, then I told her, well, it's supposed that this Greenies comes from Greece. It's supposed to come from an island that is Sevilla. And when she seek in internet uh, uh, the, the telephone list, uh, is there any Greenies in Evia? And she told me, all the Greenies live in Evia. So it's so common that, <laughs> that name, but this is the first time that I, I hear this, this last name. So we kept in touch. So it's through your the destiny of being married to a Greek woman that you found yourself back here. How long before you realized that there was a Greek community here and a Greek cathedral? Uh, when she was in this uh, trip in Mexico, she wanted to to see the Greek uh, church. She also did the same in Cuba. She wanted to know uh, how it looks, the Orthodox Greek church in Cuba. I want to see the same in Mexico. So we came. So we came uh, and we, that was my first touch with uh, an Orthodox uh, church, and a Greek one. And with time, uh, we came here, Knowing, reading this, and I say, oh, okay, one cream is, yes, I remember my mom uh, saying, my cousin Fotini, and he's here, and I remember my mom. She's here, right? Yes, Fotini. She was Fotini, yes. And I remember uh, my mother said, my uncle, Asterios, Kinis, Constantino, Kinis. So I, I, I began finding these people that were sayings of my mom <laughs> and even wondering is my mom so old that she's <laughs> creating stories but no finally I, I I saw all of them but not her father here is, is not here even though he was part of this community yes and I think he, he was the first Greenies uh, in this country hmm. anyway I mean this community started in 1960s right 
Oh no, it was before that, 1920s? Yes, because my mom was born in 1938. So let's suppose that she arrived in 1925, maybe. Now the time is yeah. my mom's yeah. mom. I, I, I just wonder. Yes, yeah, uh huh. I cannot say for sure. So, Jorge, let me ask you right now, uh, I'm sure you're in, you know, you're not young, you're not old, you're somewhere in the middle, right? Yes. <laughs> How do you feel? Do you feel 50 50, Mexican, Greek? How do you feel? Do you feel Greek now? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. <laughs> because. Uh, so the first coach uh, with the Greek community, I was uh, 40 years. And I live uh, totally as a Mexican. I, so it's very, um, so the words la raza means the race. And I was born in a public hospital in Mexico that the name is la raza. <laughs> I was born very close to Basilica de Guadalupe that is a symbol of this country. Walking 15 minutes, I, I was there. All my, my elementary school, my secondary school are very close to La Basilica. Uh, so I just knew that uh, my mom's father was from this continent, but uh, I, they never approached me <laughs> to, to them. So even here, when the, the first uh, Ohi festival, that I came, and I came with my mom. Uh, yes, I, I saw on the table a uh, label, Familia Greenies, Family Greenies, and that was the first time that I saw other Greenies, and they saw, uh, who is she, Jean, well, she's my mom, uh, what's her name, Marielena Greenies. Really, yes, she's my cousin. Uh, uh, she, my mom uh, was not here in had uh, hearing problems, so I was yelling at her. Mom, uh, he says that uh, he's your cousin. Do you remember him? No, I don't remember. Uh, uh, but that was, okay, five, five minutes, something like that. Uh, and, and he went back to her table. And a little by little here in the church, he, he began to be closer, closer, but just him. His uh, clan. She, she, his wife is Mexican. She, she had no problem. Uh, she was very close to it at the first moment. But uh, his daughter, uh, they are still uh, apart. No? It was like a surprise, a, a, a not a wanted, a not desired surprise to find uh, a creamy. So even when he went to Evia for vacations, uh, he told to the family, I found. That is the son of my name, and, and he told me they don't want to see you. <laughs> it happens. It, it, it was a rejection, no? Yeah. It, and I said, well, okay, I know that my father didn't want, didn't like the Greek family. My mom never asked. I never hear her asking. I want to see my cousins, my uncles. Mm. She was also a part. Uh, never, 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 never. So, so it, I, I knew there was, it happened something that they were not close. There mm. was not a, a, a bond. A, a, like yes, a, exactly. There is not a bond. Uh, mm -hmm. So it's a, a last thing. That's the only common. Mm -hmm. But uh, everyone in, in, in their life. Right. So I, I come here uh, to the Greek church. But uh, you can see that there are, well, today you can find Greeks, but they are, there are never Greeks here. So this is um, a Greek Orthodox church for Mexicans. <laughs> As it should be. As it should be. Yes. Uh, yes, 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 why not? So, how to feel Greek? Uh -huh. Can, but you're Orthodox, I see. 
Are you no, Orthodox? No, I am Orthodox. What made you convert, even given that you had a complicated history with your Greek side? Not complicated, it was null. Okay. I have no regrets. Okay. I have no regrets at all. I, I, I can talk to them. Uh, when my father died, I was 15 years old, and I had uh, a bad feeling about the, the religion, and, and I was fighting with God because my father left, mm -hmm. and I saw there are so many evil persons that they are older, uh, why my father died, mm -hmm. and I left the church for many, many years, decades. But this is the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church. Right. Uh, and wanted to marry uh, my wife. Uh, in Greece, uh, the, to be married means the church. You have to. Yeah. You exactly. can't marry a Greek without uh, being Orthodox. Mm -hmm. So, well, I began uh, knowing how, how, it, how it looks like the Orthodox Church. I like it. I feel in touch here, and I decided to to have my Orthodox baptisms, and I did it. Uh, but in the the monastery here in Mexico City, that is for the Slavic people. The Russian one, yeah. Slavics, because there are Serbians, there are Ukrainians, there are Russians. They are very close to downtown. I was living there, so I had my. Is, that, uh, uh, is it close to um, La Zona Rosa? In front, let's say. It's, it's close to the American Embassy, somewhere over there? Exactly. Okay, I know what you're talking about. Yes. Yes, walking is 10 minutes or less. Okay. Exactly, the Pater Nectari. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, so I really, I really like it. Uh, the, the, what I feel here, I didn't feel never. Catholic Church. Uh, tell me about that. What What is the difference between the Catholic and the Orthodox Mexican Church here? Well, uh, I don't like in uh, Catholic churches that they are that is they are full of blood. All the paintings are bloody. Are uh, it's gore. <laughs> <laughs> it's gore because uh, the. To, to be a Christian Catholic is, is like a, the crucifixion and all the pain, all the blood. That means to be a Catholic. Huh? Uh, Do you think that comes from the Aztec past? No, because if you see the Hollywood films, what they represent? The resurrection? No. I, I don't know. I think they are stressed the point of the crucifixion. They yes, the point it's true. Of I, the ca I came. Relation. I came during Holy uh, Friday, and the city was dead. Yes. There was nothing. Everybody was in church doing the procession, and I, I thought it was very strange when I said, "You know, on Sunday, don't people do anything?" They're like, "No, mm -hmm. it's normal." Like, but that's for us Orthodox. That is the most important day. Like, we, we celebrate the glory, the birth, the resurrection. That's getting through the pain, getting through the gore, getting through the suffering. That there's a good thing at the other side, and it's worth it to go through that. Because you get, you get heaven, you get love, you get, you get food. Yes, of course. <laughs> I, I, I grew up uh, as a Catholic, so the first joke here was... The main celebration is not Christmas, it's the Anastasia. And so with time, I, 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 I learned that, I understood that. And many times that people who come to an Orthodox uh, church here, because we, we go to all of them, to the Russian, well, there are a few here, no? San Jorge, uh, San Pedro, San Pablo. There is a monastery uh, also in the Estado de Mexico. I don't remember the name of this little town, but uh, 
it, it depends also from the of the Antiochian church mm -hmm. uh, and this one obviously so people come curious in about I want to see this church and they ask me ah, can you explain them because you were Catholic you know how they think and every time I told them uh, that the Pope is not the head of this church and they are in shock uh, can I uh, tell them uh, that Anastasy is the biggest celebration and not the crucifixion because uh, do you think that the cross was made for him? Yes, no, of course not. The Romans were killing in crosses much more time before that and he was not the first one. Not even that he was the first one because there were the two robbers <laughs> there already there. And, uh, so dying is not the, uh, oh wow, everybody dies. Uh, resurrection. He was also not the first one, but he was the first one to, because he uh, take to life again, Lazarus, many others. But Anastasy of himself, that is the unique. And this is uh, the expectancy of life after death. Uh, that is the most important of this, uh, the Christianity, not only for Catholics.